Hey guys, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you three different ways to twist wire. You can use twisted wire in many different ways in your projects. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. So for this video, I'm going to use 22 gauge round bare copper wire. And the first method is going to be totally by hand. If you're in a pinch and need some twisted wire and you don't have any tools available, just cut yourself off a piece. You're going to fold it in half. So kind of guesstimate how much length you'll need and cut twice that because you're going to be twisting it up. So one end you can clamp, you can hold in a tool, straighten out your wire. I'm going to go ahead and hold the other half or the other, other end in my round nose pliers like that. Keep it taut and just start twisting. Of course, it's, it's going to take a little bit of time because you're twisting it by hand, but it's doable. This would be fine for short strips of wire and quick projects. Uh, you just keep twisting until you get your desired look. course, the more you twist your wire, the harder it gets. It, it is possible to over twist it and it'll break. And this is your twisted wire totally by hand. The next technique is using a pin vise, which I use for twisting my square wire. But you can also use it to twist two round wires together as well. So you just kind of snug your wires at the end there and tighten up your pin vise. And just like the first one, group your one end with, with a tool. I'm going to use my round nose pliers and just start twisting your pin vise on the other end. Keep it nice and taut. Try to get a nice even bead. This is much easier than the first way. Looks like you're doing the same thing, but it's much easier to twist with the pin vise. And I feel you got better control. There you have it. I think I got a, a much better twist with the pin vise than I did just doing it by hand. The last method I'm going to show you is with a drill. I got this off Amazon. The torque on that isn't too bad. So same thing. Put your two ends together and feed it into your chuck. If they're really thin, you can bend them over so the chuck has something to grab. Tighten up your chuck really snug. Grab your other end. Keep it nice and taut. Start off slowly. how quick that went. The drill is the most efficient way to do it. Honestly, I just got my drill, so I've been doing it by hand for many years with my pin vise, but here's the outcome. You can do really long lengths with the drill in a matter of seconds. 
which makes it nice. So here, here's the drill. You can get them nice and tight. Here's the pin vise. It's a little looser, and then this is by hand, which is looser still. And of course, like I said, you can use these in many different ways for different jewelry projects. You can hammer them. You can do whatever you'd like. Okay, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.